Hello, in this C programming video, I am going to show you an infinite loop. So an infinite loop is when a loop just keeps running and it doesn't stop. So this can and will most likely occur in your programming journey. You'll probably, you know, miss something out and you might actually leverage almost an infinite loop for stuff like game development. You kind of use an infinite loop but i would call a controlled infinite loop so it just keeps running until the condition of let's say the game is shut down uh, you know is achieved again okay it's technically not an infinite loop but it kind of feels like it compared to regular programming that's something you're having experience when you get to it but let me show you a basic one if i put four and in here we put two semicolons before this you'll put any variable declaration here you would put the condition for you know whilst the, you know what needs to be true for the loop to continue running here you would put any code that maybe you're running the end of it every iteration like i plus uh, plus for example but they're all optional so if you were to miss them out and let's put printf here and put hello save that give it a run see what happens There we go. It's in an infinite loop now. It's going to keep printing hello. It's going to keep doing it, keep doing it. If you are like in the terminal like this to, you know, close it, you just press control C. Did I get, yeah, there we go. You just press control C to, you know, terminate it. So I remember thinking, ah, I'm never going to, you know, miss out this part, this part, um, this part. Exactly this part that's probably more important than this part. But you're never going to miss them all out, are you? you? Okay, fair enough. You might not. But what, what about if you was to do this? Let me just comment this out. Why if, let's say you created a variable, int i equals zero. And you had already created before and you had, you had some code here. And then you decided to run a loop. But because you've already created, you know, the, the counter, which has already been used in some form, you decide to use a while loop, which is, you know, more than, you know, logical. And then you put your condition here whilst i is less than 100 and then let's say whilst you're doing your code you put you know you put let's say hundreds of lines of code here and it, you forget to put the i plus plus you forget it and let's just put our printf again here printf and i'll just say while loop now run that we get the same problem so it is it's not just about oh you might miss him out in this for loop which again is highly unlikely i've never ever done that in my life but definitely have done this definitely have done this where whatever condition is here has not sufficiently changed enough or the parameters haven't to not satisfy this condition so obviously you were satisfied by putting like yeah i plus plus but yeah there you go another thing that could happen is you might do i plus plus and because the code might be pretty complex and you might be resetting i so you're running the loop kind of multiple times but through resetting it you might never get i to 100 or above that happens as well so that's just something to bear in mind i'll close this out so that's something to bear in mind and that's infinite loops if it just keeps running and you got loops and you just recently implemented a loop chances are you probably got into an infinite loop if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group in the programming channel there's a community of over six thousand members and there's a source code also available on the github page which there is a link in the description and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video